so good at audio and video stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I, I, I. I wish I could put you off of my AV work. Que rico. Welcome one, welcome all to the Multicultural Misfits Podcast. This is your host, Audio AB. The helm of the table, I have my wonderful co-host and executive producer. Jordan. And next to him, I have my wonderful co-host. Omar. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? How's it going, guys? So, <laughs> have you guys had a chance to see The Matrix? The new Matrix? The, it's saying it's called The Matrix Resurrections? Yeah. I haven't I, heard good things. Omar, have you seen it? Mm-mm. Don't watch it. <laughs> Gio, you saw it? See, that's why I haven't watched it, because everybody's like, there's I, no opinion Can on I it. just spoil it? I know what happens. It's don't even watch. It's well, not I'm worth watching. I'm going to let you on the secret. I've never seen not one, not one two minutes, full two minutes of a Matrix movie. Not one. <laughs> not even the original? Not even You're the original. You're crazy. Not the one origi- single one. The original one. is amazing. Are they really like it? It's, it's one of the yeah. best movies I've ever seen. The original is really good. The okay. first one is good. Yeah, it should have just been one movie. Yeah. It was like one of those things where they were like, okay, the movie's good. Let's try and make a bunch of money off of it. So they just made a bunch more. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying it, it should have been one. Just yeah. One. Okay. So let me tell you why I think this one's really bad. At least, <laughs> I think thir- 30 minutes into this new one, right? The one of the, characters, one of the characters in the movie literally says, we were forced to make this against our will. The company, the studio wanted to make it. Yeah. They said they were going to make it with or without us. So we decided to make it. So basically what they were saying is, it was basically a message from the directors saying that they were forced to make the movie because Warner Brothers said they would make the movie with or without them. Yeah. <gasps> they said that in the movie? It was literally said within the movie. But no they're talking way. about like, they're talking about it from like uh, the Different perspective. of a game. It's like, it's like a meta perspective. Yeah. But like, but you know literal, exactly what it's... It's a literal quote. And it's said multiple times in the movie. It's like two or three times in the movie. Like, Bro, what? We, we yeah. didn't want to make this. We were forced to make this. If we didn't make it, Warner Brothers was going to take it and make another one without us. They said us. Warner Brothers? Pretty much. They said like the words Warner Brothers. They said like the studio, basically. But and, then, and they named they like said actual names. Yeah. Or they had like names of actual like producers and shit like that. How did they get away with that? I don't know, but like, but they don't. F- well, it's one Wachowski, but they can do whatever they want to do. Why do these companies still do it then? Because it, it makes, makes money. money. <sighs> but in this case, it was the really fuck? bad. So did apparently, it make money though. This one? No, it didn't. It apparently, did really bad, and like they Warner Brothers said they're not gonna make another one. <laughs> The producers said they're not going to make another one. Bro, there's HBO, no money. God damn it. It sucked. HBO <laughs> lost like a lot of money this year. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I think they lost in the fourth quarter. They lost like 1.7 subscribers. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Million, they, million, million, million. No, so they actually are on the year. They added like to millions of subscribers, but they lost a bunch of money because they gave away a bunch of movies for free. But no, they, they, add, they but they, they added lost. like they added millions of subscribers. No, they lost. They lost like in Are the last sure? quarter. I saw an, I saw an article that said HBO added like forty three million subscribers. No, like they that. lost, bro. They they took a fat L. Maybe they lost financially, but like subscriber wise, I think L. they I think they they got more subscribers. That's odd to think about, though. HBO Max, yeah, because. Well, I guess they didn't have too many movies coming out right no, now. No, they huh? put all they put all Warner Brothers put all their movies out on HBO Max. But Space I feel like Jam Two was on HBO Max. Are the movies horrible? That's what I'm saying. I feel it like was actually really good for that reason. I feel like so was many people really would have been on there. I, I like feel the like Suicide Squad, all those movies. They were yeah, on that HBO was on Max. there. Uh, Godzilla vs Kong Suicide was on Squad there. Bro, solid movie. Okay. Space Jam Two was good. I'm I've never seen it, but it looked Jam horrible. Was it? It was good. It was <laughs> fun. <laughs> it was things I know. <laughs> Gun against know. your head. It was good. Gun against your head. Is it a good movie? Oh, okay, you're watching Space Jam 2. What do you expect? I want to find Lola Bunny. Fucking Citizen Kane. I want to find Lola <laughs> I want a Bunny. Sexy Lola Bunny. Uh-uh. All right. I want. She's still hot. LeBron doing crazy things. And I'll tell you this. She's even hotter now because it's Zendaya. It's Zendaya's voice. Yeah, but what does she look like? She's still hot. <sighs> Zendaya can't save her. I don't think. I don't, <laughs> I don't think Zendaya is attractive. If she's visually not a pleasing. You don't think Zendaya is attractive? No, she's too skinny. She has no body. Man. She's too tall. I love Zendaya. You know what's unfortunate? I. I wish I did. But I don't think. I don't think Zendaya is fine as people make her. Seem what is happening? Thank but, you. but don't get me wrong. Zendaya is an incredibly pretty girl, man. and she seems like a really cool person. I remember what was being but said. But she's not. She's not a fucking like. 10 out of 10. No. What do you rate her? 0 out of 10. Even though we're not supposed to objectify women like this. What do you rate Zendaya? Oh, 15. Not, not that low. Not that low. I rate her like a, out of 10, maybe like a 
Oof, like a seven point oh, I thought like about, nine. I, I, rate, I thought an F was coming out your mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> like a seven point nine. It's not bad, but like I, I rate her like a six point five. Imagine what Zendaya butt naked. Imagine Zendaya butt naked. Maybe beautiful. No, no, no. no body. There's no, no booty. There's no titty. no sir. I mean, I'm not super objective. <laughs> She's fine, gorgeous. Right? But, like, I want a little thickness. I want a little curves. She got curves. She's so skinny. Her bones she has got curves. No She's curves. just very slim. She's Down very slim. to the bone, she got curves. She looks like a dude. Pr- super pretty. She looks like you. How is she? How is she supposed to compete with Alexa? Damn, Demi I'm hot. On the screen, bro. <laughs> Alexa Demi and 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 Tom Holland. Okay, very true. On the screen, <laughs> how is she gonna compete? <laughs> No, because I remember what y'all was saying when we watched Euphoria. Y'all yeah. was like, yeah, Zendaya look all right. Sydney Sweeney I remember and y'all saying that. Nah, beat her out of the park fucking. It. They okay. beat the shit out of her, bro. She's always, she's pretty. <laughs> it's unfortunate. She's I'm sorry, pretty. Zendaya. She has a nice face, yeah. but like, I can't get with the body. Sydney Sweeney is hard to beat. Even her sister is finer than her in the show. <laughs> Zendaya's 13-year-old sister in the show? <laughs> yeah, but she's not 13 in real life. <laughs> and she's not 13 in the show either. Stop it. She is 13 in the show. She's not 13. She's like 14. She's probably like fucking 16, 17. No, no, no. She's probably like in high school. No, like because in Zendaya, high school. Zendaya's in high school and the little sister's like in middle school. Isn't Zendaya... F- oh, Zendaya is and in you high only, school. And you yeah. only see half the sister's body because right. the other half is behind another door. Yeah. Zendaya looking, is in high school. She's just peeking around the Omar, corner. I, I take all, it back. I have all in the 13-year-old sister. Uh, we're going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in real life, Zendaya's probably like 25. In real life, that girl's probably like 21. Yeah, <laughs> so she's, she's older, yeah. She's a grown woman. Zendaya of course, is. Of course. But Zendaya's just not that. Oh, and I saw Spider-Man. I saw it. Okay, in Spider-Man, <laughs> she doesn't look like, you know... Uh, Tom Holland's finer than Zendaya. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. <laughs> no, but no, Zendaya's fine. Zendaya's she got to deal fine. with I'm talking Alexa, about hot, hot. But she has to deal with Alexa Demi on camera. It's bro. not fair. That's, that's tough. It's not fair. And Sydney Sweeney isn't the best looking, but... No, she's so beautiful. Pretty fine. And she's got Tubby Wombies. Chabungas on her. <laughs> she's got some big old hala hulas on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Little knip knops right there. Hala hulas. I and feel the, like we can do a whole hour on like just titties. Like what we would name titties. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, we, might, we might lose a lot of listeners if we do that. <laughs> Zendaya's a pretty girl, though. Zendaya is amazing. She's a pretty girl. I she's love Zendaya. A very pretty girl. She's very my, talented. She's a good girl. actress. She was my lock screen for like two years. No kidding. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> That's just That's kidding. A, what a waste. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> <laughs> On Zendaya? I don't think so. What a waste. How dare you? <laughs> How dare what you, What a waste sir. of a lock screen. Alexa Demi's dying for it. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but who? Uh, I don't know. Off the top of my head, probably uh, Ana de Armas. That's probably the finest. Are you serious? She, she's really she's No, beautiful. you are. Nah, no, we're really not pretty. doing that. She's really pretty. We're not doing beautiful, that. Man. Who do you think? No, you're not going to slander Zendaya like that. Who's the most attractive woman in and your And then eyes? pull out the girl from Knives Out. She's yeah. way more beautiful it's than Zendaya. It's not fair. Zendaya, it's not bro. fair, okay? She looks like a little a little girl. They put her in a oh, they put her in a hoodie and a fucking and some pants. Bro, that girl's face is little. Look at her. <laughs> she looks like a South Park character. And J- <laughs> and J- <laughs> Stop it. And J- <laughs> <laughs> and James Bond and James Bond look at her in James Bond <laughs> like a South Park character in the suit tell me she'll look fine as hell in James Bond no she does this. Yeah, she does she the new great. one Oh, I can't believe I just did that Man. What, difference of taste guys difference of taste Yeah, that's I true. don't know what it is Zendaya's cool though yeah, she's she seems very cool. Something about Fuck Zendaya. Her. What a, what a girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she made it out of the Disney of the Disney Channel game. The only two? No, 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 that's not true. The f- well, there's a few. Fine no, she's the most successful one. Channel game. Oh, uh, actually, no, 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 that's not true. That's no, not true. that's the. Yeah, it's gotta be Ariana Grande. Yeah. No. Oh wait, the Nickelodeon. Disney. Nickelodeon. Yeah, You're right. Was, Who is the most successful Disney Channel? Probably Selena Gomez. Ryan Gosling was on the uh, Disney Channel. That doesn't Disney. count. He was on the Mickey Mouse show. Same shit. What? He was on a Mickey Mouse show. Yeah. yeah. I I fuck with some Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling's cool. Yeah. No gay shit. I love Ryan Gosling. He's a good actor, man. He's yeah. Barack Obama. Excuse me? Sorry, that's a meme. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama? Yeah. He's Barack Obama. Is he playing Barack Obama in the biopic? That was a, that what was a, a movie that would be like a <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Bro, I imagine be... Ryan Gosling going blackface. And black people face. would be furious if that type of thing fucking happened. Yeah, bro. That, that, that could not fly. No, that wouldn't imagine fly. Imagine that. Bro, even the Robert Downey Jr., sometimes you think about what he did. The full retard and like the blackface thing, I don't remember the the retard. That was, uh, the blackface. that was uh, um, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller, but he oh, did yeah. say full retard. Oh, they said all kinds of stuff. In that they movie. did. Ben Stiller, bro. Was, he said, bro. Robert Downey Jr. said some wild shit in like the eighties. In some movies in the eighties, bro, he was going crazy. What kind of wild, like N word stuff or like what do you? No, mean? he was like a bully, and then he was in Weird Science. Weird I, Science is a crazy movie because they never like, seen Weird Science, bro. It's like. There's a rape scene kind of in the movie. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, there's a rape scene in a. Oh, did we talk about this? It? 
No, there I don't, is. I don't think we did. There's a rape scene in it. I don't know why I thought about this. Yeah, but there's a rape wrong. scene in it where you're just like this came out of nowhere. There was, there was no reason for this. These are yeah. children. These sounds, are just little children. It's traumatizing. Yeah. It's very traumatizing. It's very That's crazy. Technically, it's not a kid's movie, though, so I guess it's not that traumatizing. But, but it's a kid. But it, in what world? Like, okay. Wait, in the new it or the old one? The book. Oh, I thought you were talking about the movie. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about the books like they that. They should. <laughs> people, people don't read books nowadays. That's the person that's making money off of the movie. <laughs> Come on, it's fucking now. Stephen King. <laughs> Are you kidding? Man. People don't read books nowadays. Nobody reads books. It's still that's terrible. Like the one though. I read that year. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's way too fucking long. <laughs> Why y'all, y'all getting the kids to rape? And there's way more. There's a lot of bad shit in that book. <laughs> there's a lot of bad. There's shit. a lot of bad. But shit But nothing in that book. is worse than that. that no, is, there's nothing. That worse. might be the worst thing I've ever read in my that's life. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. It was so bad. It's so bad and so unnecessary. Nah, man. But yeah, a lot of actors nowadays they have a lot of things that you know they did back then. We just let slide. Hey, that's true. We just let it's slide. in the past. In the past, man. That it's, is true. It's, it's hard to fucking dig shit up from forty years ago and be like you're a piece of shit. Depending on what it is, like if they rape somebody. Okay, that's completely wrong. No, that, that's we wrong. know that. <laughs> but if it was like like they might have said something that's you know off color, fucking. 40, 50 years ago, 30 yeah. years ago, 20 years ago. I mean, come on, dude. It's been, time has passed. You know what I mean? Man. But if they, it's, there's a difference between doing and saying, in my opinion. I wonder Huge what, um, difference. excuse me. I wonder what, uh, what things are going to come up like in the next 30 years. Oh man, all like, kinds what, of stuff. What's getting, what's getting by right now that people are, that people are not noticing. And then in 30 years, either, either like the, Excuse what the fuck? <laughs> God damn! Either the accept, either the acceptable line has, what the fuck? <laughs> you're, you're hiccuping? Yeah. <laughs> either the acceptable, <laughs> either the acceptable line has moved. <laughs> we got a little hiccuping baby here. <laughs> Nobody. Either, either the acceptable line oh has moved or something else. I forgot what the fuck. I was no, saying. I, I know, I know, I, I know what you're saying. Like you're trying to like. Shit is gonna, the guidelines are gonna change. Oh like yeah, the goalpost so, is gonna. Yeah. In thirty yeah. years, other people they're gonna be getting upset about things that we weren't getting upset about right now. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. Which is strange to think about because when is the world gonna reach a, a nice equilibrium? How far where, does like, it keep going? Yeah, where this is like a good moral standard where we but should all like be around. Whenever like something is introduced, people are always gonna go backwards and be like, "Well, why wasn't it okay back then?" Which is odd to think. But I feel like there's mm. there's a, there's some things that we can all agree are objectively wrong. Murder, yeah, 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 yeah. Murder, human slavery, um, rape, like rape, thievery. We yeah. can all agree pretty much. Okay, those are wrong. Easy yeah. ones. But there's some things where the lines are more blurred, right? Yeah. Like the whole like transsexual thing. I don't think that's wrong. I don't give a fuck. Let the people be what they want to be. For but there's real. some people who believe that that's wrong. Yeah. Which is crazy. I don't know why they do, but that's what they believe. I don't know either. That's crazy. That's a tough one though. <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> we talked about that in the other episode. Having we did oh, yeah. having a trans kid. Oh, but yeah, I I don't, I don't. If you're not hurting anybody, I really don't. Hey man, see God the bless issue. you. Have fun, Go bro. If it crazy. makes you happy, a hey, have a blast. Marry marry your TV. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I didn't marry, bro, marry, marry a flip flop, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Identify as a TV. You, yeah, it's whatever <laughs> you want to do, bro. I'm I'm I with you. Identify as a TV as a flip flop. If that makes you happy, man, I'm for real. I'm like, bro. I don't want people to die sad. So do what you want to do. Hundred percent agreed, man. It's not my life. I hate it ain't that. My like, life. you can't try to impose your own beliefs onto someone else's life, especially if they don't know you. Like that's crazy to me. For real, yeah. But yet it happens all the time with like a lot of the like laws and shit that are in our state. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the beliefs and shit. You know, like how we can't buy liquor on Sundays, shit like that. It's just stupid. Bro, I want to get drunk on Sunday. Absolutely. Why can't I? So why I, can't I? Because the Bible says you can't. It is really where in though. the Bible does it say it? You Jesus can't drink said on not on Sundays. <laughs> you can't drink on the Lord's day. I want alcohol on Sunday and Chick Fil A on Sundays. <laughs> I don't see why I can't have those things. I want to. Dr- I want to drink a Jack and Coke and eat some Chick Fil A nuggets on a Sunday. I don't know why That's I can't I have that. I feel like I should be able to have that. As an American, I should have. As that. As an American, I feel like it's only right if I have. It's that. only right. It absolutely is, though. It, it absolutely is. is. It absolutely is. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to drink whenever the fuck I want to drink. It's my life. It's my life, man. What is God? Who are you to tell me, Jesus? I don't even know you, bro. <laughs> I don't even know you're trying you. Trying to tell me what to do. I never even seen your face, dude. Jesus, you're not even a real person. <laughs> All I seen is pictures of you, bro. Yeah, what are you? We don't even know if he really existed. Yeah. Legitimately, there's not 100 percent evidence. I feel like know. he. I feel like if he did, we would hear more stories. I feel oh, like yeah. if he did exist, he was just a big finesser. 
and, and he was real good at sleight of hand look, magic. Look, I turned this water into wine. <laughs> look, guys, look. But like, in actuality, under like a, a fucking black plastic bag that was like wine under there, and he, and he just tricked you into thinking it was it, it hadn't been there the whole time, but it was in there the whole time. And he had a Supreme T-shirt on. <laughs> of course he did. Of course Jesus yeah. would be the kind of asshole that had a Supreme T-shirt. He had a fanny pack. Yeah, he had a fanny pack. He had like like off whites on. <laughs> <laughs> and like like some really fat cargo pants. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To Jesus, boys. To Jesus Shots, Christ. Shots for <laughs> Jesus. We're drinking your Jesus. blood right now. Jesus. Right. We're drinking the blood of Jesus. Shots for Jesus. Woo! Oh. Ah. God bless America. You God know what I was Jesus. thinking about, though? Mm. All right. Why is it? All right. I was, I was thinking about this seriously the other day. Mm-hmm. Thinking about this real hard, right? And really, like, pro and conning it. Why is it that we don't all wear athleisure clothing? Why is it that everybody in the world isn't wearing, like, high-quality, comfortable clothes? Why why, why do we have to tuck our shirt in? Why do we have to wear a belt? Why do we have to wear dress shoes? That's, no, that's why, start, realistically, that's to do we have to do that? That's starting to change. It needs to change completely. I, start, I mean, with a lot of people working from home from sh- and shit like that, yeah. you can kind of wear whatever you want. And most yeah. people, like... Usually like to wear like athleisure, bro. You sometimes I, mean? I work in my boxers. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! Dude, hell yeah. yeah! But like, okay, let's say like in a world where the pandemic is over, like mm-hmm. let's say next year, everyone, everyone for whatever reason, because uh, they have a brain in their head, decides to get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> everyone decides to get vaccinated, oh, and we get Lord. rid of the pandemic, right? Like the vaccinations aren't a hundred percent foolproof, bro. <laughs> well, but actually, did you know you can still give it to people? <laughs> <Even if you're laughs> vac- yeah, one in fucking a hundred people. <laughs> no, you can though. <laughs> it's true. But it's it, true. It, two di- two different severities. Not gonna Good. lie, I'm starting to see this side a little bit. Sometimes Stop I ain't getting. Oh. We're none of us in this table are gonna get boosted. I'm gonna tell you no, right now. I'm getting boosted. Why are y'all gonna get boosted? We're gonna stay away from you once you get boosted. I'll Don't. have the viewers know all three of us had a COVID scare. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> and they're saying this right now. <laughs> and they're and saying we, this right now. <laughs> okay, so all three of us had a COVID scare. I got tested. You get tested. Did you get tested? <laughs> Exactly. Isn't that funny? He brings viewers up the co- don't, viewers don't listen. He brings up the COVID scare. Me and Gio get tested. Listening. Me and Gio get tested immediately within the correct time frame. He neglects to get tested oh, because it's too inconvenient for his life where he sits at home, watches TV and smokes weed. Guys that guys that came out negative. <laughs> so Omar's bro science was that if me and Gio come out negative oh, let me preface you guys. We were all three of us were exposed to somebody with COVID, oh like God. really, really close, like yeah. legitimately, like right next to the person who had to the COVID. point where I'm surprised that I didn't have it. Exactly. I took a hit off his vape pen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Omar took a hit off his vape like a cool guy. We were all exposed to this Not person. Cool at all. <laughs> I got tested immediately because I live with the person, so it was the smart thing to do. Geo waited three to five days, like the fucking CDC says. Yeah. Omar did not get tested at all because he figured, nah. hey, if AB and Geo are negative. I'm going to use bro science and think maybe I'm negative too. Because what are the odds? <laughs> but you don't know the odds. Let's run some statistics here. Hey, what are the odds? That you y'all don't have it. You don't know them. You live with him and you don't have it? There's no way I have it. There's no uh, way. But you no shared way. a vape pen with him. I did. But <laughs> and Multiple I never, times. I never got tested for sure. And CDC said five days, so we're good. <laughs> we don't know that. You no. could have been asymptomatic. No, no, but it's been like two weeks now. At this point, it's been like two weeks. Not, it has not been two weeks. It's not been two it weeks. Has. It's been last, like last a week. Saturday. <laughs> last, last Saturday. In two days, it'll be two weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's been 12, 12 days. <laughs> 12 okay. 12 days it's not, it's not two weeks Alright it's true It's true But don't let them <laughs> Don't let them Don't, don't let them Distract you from the fact That they're not getting the boost <laughs> Fuck that booster Am I like supposed it. to get five boosters Fuck Come on now well, But they say that Without the booster Isn't it like At like a half level Right now Like 50-50 Type of shit Who is making these damn rules Who knows I ain't getting shit until, knows, they, until they develop The catch all vaccine That completely eradicates Any form of COVID mutation Did y'all see Speaking of this did y'all see the? Uh, there's a blind woman in I forgot where, somewhere in Europe or something like that. One of those Yugoslavia type of fucking. <laughs> oh God! One of those weird little European. One of those countries. places where like it's it's illegal to be gay or something like that. Where it's legal <laughs> to be gay and it's very cold and they all like goats. <laughs> and this woman <clears throat> is a blind uh, clairvoyant, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, supposedly she predicted 9/11. Supposedly she predicted something else. I forgot what it was. But anyway, she was predicting that in 2022 there's gonna be a. Um, I forgot where, but from uh, another European country, the ice is going to melt because of climate change, and there's going to be another uh, really historical virus that like shows its face again because of like the ice melting and like the 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 virus getting like exposure again. I believe it to the world, I mean, and that's could, a big problem they've been saying about it like could be ice the case. melting. It could be the case, <clears throat> but I think something like that doesn't travel as fast as COVID. I think COVID yeah. travels way faster because like 
It's COVID, airborne. they had no idea where it came from. But this, they could easily identify, okay, if we notice that a bunch of Inuit people, or people who are hanging around, uh, hanging out around the ice are getting this disease, mm-hmm. they can recognize and isolate right away. Especially because we're in the, the pandemic mindset right now, any new virus, they're paying really close attention to. It's yeah. so, like as soon as the shit pops up, they're going to find a way to like isolate and like that way you have all your patients so you know who patient zero is. That's the problem with COVID. They don't know who patient zero is. As soon as you can identify patient zero, and you know how to like find the root of the problem. They'll but never they don't, find it. They're never going to find China. it because China started it. Yeah, somewhere in China. Just ch- eating at a deli. <laughs> China started it on purpose. <laughs> He's eating at a buffet. <laughs> That's a lot of people say, and they very well may have. But like, I think it was an accident. Regardless think, or not, they if they did do it on purpose, they didn't mean to like let it get out the way it did. Hundred percent. I think yeah. they were. I think they were. <laughs> that was an accident. Exactly. I think they were experimenting with the shit, and it accidentally got out. I don't think it was on purpose. It, it, it fucked their economy up too. Dude, that's some dark shit. Bro, everybody that. got hit. Everybody got hit. Legitimately. So it was like, yeah. China got hit pretty damn bad too. There's no. There's in the no beginning. They got hit real bad. But there's no benefit of this shit. In a lot of places, like I don't see like, no, 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 why somebody would do this on purpose. There would be benefit if your country didn't have it, or if they didn't have as severe of a problem of it. But because everybody, then all it. the other problems would have. I mean, all the other countries would have to worry about this, and your country could be producing all the shit that the other countries can't because, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And like your country is just healthier, and they're just like able to just continue on with normal life while other countries are going through depression because they're having to deal with all that. shit. All right, so let me ask you a question. But it, it's a whole thing. It wouldn't yeah. be that easy. Let you me know? ask both of you guys a question. Shit. You're the, you're the leader of a country. Was there alcohol in that? There might have been. <laughs> you're, you're the leader of a country, right? Your own independent country, yeah. Omar Land, Geo Land. Yeah. <laughs> and let's say you have a nation of a few million people. Mm. COVID starts to spread in your nation. Kill them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The I'm North just kidding. Korea approach. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, quarantine the fuck out of them real fast. Real, real fast. Quarantine. There's um, vaccines available. Do you make it mandatory? Oh yeah. No choice. Yeah. Yeah, really. Especially after I saw what happened here, we have to fucking take them. <laughs> someone, someone put up an Excel chart. Someone put up a fucking like colored Excel chart of all the vaccines you've taken throughout your life up until now. <laughs> oh, it's a lot that you never mentioned. Oh yeah, and all the boosters and all like the second 100%, vaccine, 100%. bro. It's so many throughout the years. It's so many. All the stuff we prevented is crazy, like polio, smallpox. Yeah. I mean, all the crazy diseases that we prevented with vaccines. Yeah. It's it's crazy to think of like the stuff that that I saw a picture on Reddit the other day. It was a boy with polio and a boy with polio who had the polio vaccine. The boy with polio who had the vaccine, he had maybe one or one or two dots on his chest and maybe like a, a dot or two on his face. Mm-hmm. The boy with polio with no vaccine, bro, he looked like the thing from fucking oh, Fantastic no. Four. Like the man was just covered in all these fucking dots and cracks and like. He looked like a fucking beehive, like just like he looked. It's just like the bees had stung him all over, like all kinds of fucking cracks and fucking bumps all over his head and Jesus. his fucking body. That's tough. You, get the fucking vaccine, <laughs> stop, bro. The reason why I'm uh, Omarion, Omicron, all this shit. <laughs> the reason why these fucking variants are even showing up is because the vaccine, the unvaccinated people are giving it enough room and wiggle room to like to you grow know, and mutate. Shit. You know what yeah. I mean? All right, so to play get devil's the goddamn advocate, vaccine to play devil's advocate. The vaccine isn't as effective against the Omarion variant. But the Omarion variant would have never even showed up if everyone would have got vaccinated. But then, you know that's true. I mean? and, and, and in those in those underdeveloped countries, if those yeah. people had been vaccinated, those those variants might not have popped because up. That's a fair point. When they when they said this COVID-19 va- vaccination, this treats COVID-19, they didn't say Omarion and all that other shit. They yeah. said, this is the one. Get this shit. Let's do it now so we don't have to have this problem. And Before another one came out. And they were like, all right, well, this one doesn't treat it. And the then another one came out. They're like, well, this one really doesn't yeah. treat it. The booster is also out right now, so it'll help fight against El Marion. People are just, and I'm gonna tell you what, you know, believe it or not, believe mm. it or not, I know it was around the holidays, but I did try to get tested for like like two three days. No, oh, it's busy. It's a bo- lot of them. I swear, you looked at you one did. or two places. You said, "Oh my, oh my, you didn't." It, like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Amy's right. It, it was like it was like it was like two three places. Yeah, like you looked at one places. or two places. You're like, but how many places that? am I supposed to go to, bro? You could have reserved it for exactly. like three days, more than three. Geo sent you a place. I sent you a place. Those are the places I went to. There's literally a bunch they weren't of places. Open. Those were the places that I had went to. And they My weren't open. Ass. You could have got tested in three days if you waited for because like a Walgreens. So many of them were booked up. Exactly. So you wait three days. Well, I figured make at, some, <laughs> at some spot I was be able to pull up and just do you're, it like first come first serve. No. So you're vaccinated, wait, but you're still being a super spreader right now, but not even getting yourself tested. I hope not. I hope <laughs> you not. could. Be. I, I was you wearing could. a mask. I was wearing a mask. That mask not. don't mean shit. That's uh, all ornamental. Yeah, it is. it's all ornamental. It is. It is. It is. But I will say, I got that shit though. So, 
<laughs> the timing of a lot of shit is very suspicious. It is suspicious. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's how shit works, though, man. It, I mean, I all right, if you know. look at like, all right, if you look at the historical shit, right, in terms of, like the trends of cases going up, compare this year to last year. It spikes around the same time. Winter, specifically around the holidays. Yeah, because you get a, are like you get a spike going to the beginning of the year, and then it kind of falls going from February to March. Yeah, spike a little bit in the summer, and then falls again into the holidays when it spikes again. Yeah, so it's a similar pattern, similar trend. They've yes. been predicting this for months. They just didn't know it would be a new variant. That's what they didn't predict. Mm. That that was completely unexpected because it came from South Africa, and then it, but this one for some reason replicates in the lungs so much easier than the other ones, so then it just spreads extremely quickly. And boom. And I feel and like everybody didn't come has from, Omicron. I feel like it didn't come from South Africa. We just be dropping shit on Africa because, you know. <laughs> just because it's not, it's whatever. Nah, man. I feel like but it that came motherfucker came from like England or somewhere. <laughs> Africa gets it rough. That shit came from like, <laughs> it came yeah, it from came from like somewhere. <laughs> they just drop it on Africa because, you know, it's easy to do. I think it came from South Africa, man. Man. The, all them white people down there, they ain't doing that shit. <laughs> I, have no, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> who's who's visiting and coming from South Africa? I don't fucking exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> Why? Can't be that many goddamn people. <laughs> but think about it. People from South Africa are going to like Europe, and then yeah. those people from Europe are going to the U.S. And airports are the like a super spreader place in yeah. a lot of ways. If you live in South yeah. Africa, you got some money, so you're going somewhere. You know what I mean? You're, pro- you're probably not from Africa, and if you are from Africa, you have enough money to go visit other places. They, so that's probably what you're it's doing. It's a very popular. South Africa is very popular for tourists. Yeah. I think it's the most popular tourist spot in Africa besides like Egypt. Why? Yeah. It's like to- like popular people. for tourism and like uh, like companies, isn't it? Yeah. Like businesses, white folks. <laughs> it's just, it's just and white you know folks. what that you know what that categorizes down to white folks. White folks. <laughs> it just goes back every time. It simplifies down to white folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Who knows though, man? Could have been the locals. It, it shit just starts out of nowhere. I'm gonna be heated if there's another fucking disease or like some other virus or something that comes out. Oh yeah. I, I'm gonna be heated if like this is a problem that like a perpetual problem where this is never ending. No, it's gonna be an. En- it, they say it's gonna move from a pandemic to an endemic, and by endemic they mean like the flu. Oh, they got like, bars. It's ongoing. <laughs> Well, okay, that's okay, but as long as they have it down to a point where like it's only claiming so many lives, like the flu, like the flu does, which isn't, <laughs> which isn't too many. So, so, so go ahead, flu, go crazy, kill them. <laughs> that's probably it. go go, go ahead, off. Crazy. There's probably something wrong with them. Get them. I don't care. <laughs> but no, I mean, I think that'll be the case. But this whole thing makes me worry about is what if we encounter some serious shit, like a disease that you see in movies, like a disease that legitimately. Like, if we're in the same room and I have it and you guys get it, you'll be dead in two weeks. Like, a disease Ooh. like that, right? Like, legitimately, where the death rate is very high. Will we be prepared? No. God because, no. like, this shit shows me, like, we're not prepared with tests, right? We're not prepared with a lot of shit. Joe Biden, that piece of shit. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, no, Joe, Biden, no. shit. Joe Biden he, said we're going to have, he said we're gonna have 500 million at-home tests coming out, blah, blah, blah. We're going to have he testing lied. sites set up. <laughs> yeah. In our city... There's very little. It can't find at-home tests at any pharmacies. I've called six different pharmacies every day for the past five days. I've not been able to find anything, right? They sell out of you lie. So it's like, why Like, why are you saying this shit and it's not happening? They're like, backdooring this shit, bro. People Absolutely. that work there are just selling it to like their friends and like selling it to... It, I'm sure. It's just all being backdoored, I'm pretty sure. The man lied. <laughs> the man lied about a lot. Joe Biden's a bad fucking guy. The man lied about a lot. It's lie. a goddamn shame, bro, because we all hated Trump. And th- like, it, and now this guy fucking sucks Bro, too. Like I, they all I think suck. the vote for him was just to vote against Trump. It was. I, which I'm, sucks. I'm starting to see a lot of like the conspiracy uh, side of shit. I'm like, bro, I can see why they, you know, say certain things. About sure, certain sure. Sometimes absolutely. you hear the things they say and you're like, man, well, it'd be crazy. If that nah, they'd be right sometimes. <laughs> crazy if that was true. Because <laughs> that man hasn't done nothing. He hasn't done anything. He ain't done none of the shit he promised about. He said he was going to cancel student debt. Has not canceled that student debt. That was a lie. Sure. Kamala sucks. He sucks. Kamala is they a both ghost. Fucking suck. She's disappeared. I was reading that he's separating from her because her like ratings are so low. 100%. And now his ratings are also extremely low. Yep. And she plans to run and in 2024. I'm like, bitch, you're not gonna win. I'm gonna yeah. tell you. She'll right get now. like 2,000 votes. And you know what's the sad part, bro? You know what's the really sad part? Mm. People are like, we should have voted for Trump because at least he gave us stimulus checks. It's like, yeah, because he gave you stimulus. Not because he wanted to. Yeah. He's but forced because, to. But because if forced. Joe Biden was president at that time, he would have also given you stimulus. Yeah, he kind of had to. It's just what the times were. You know what yeah. I mean? Now it's like, now they're on that point where like, we gave out too much money. We can't give out anymore. Sorry. Do y'all ever look back to like the, uh, the beginning of the pandemic and be like, what could have been different? Dude. Like, so what would you change? I, easily, easily. They could have fucking stuff. quarantined so, everybody. Like, like, right away. There's a there's something that came out. This reporter, he's been a reporter for like 50, 50 years. He's very well known. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Bob Woodward. He broke the Watergate scandal with like Richard Nixon. He's a very, very <laughs> respected reporter. Yeah. <laughs> he he interviewed Trump in like January or February 2020 before COVID got really bad. Mm-hmm. 
And Trump knew back then that COVID was like legit, like it was serious. Like this shit spreads quick. Yeah. And it can fuck people up who have like, you know, who are overweight, who are older, shit like that. Shit, anybody. But Trump was just like, he wasn't like prepared for it. And he didn't like take it seriously. I think we would have been more prepared. The shit would have come out better. Like we would have been able to manage it better. I think it would have been much easier to to go about it. Yeah. I think more people would have been willing to take a vaccine if the whole thing was managed better. I wholeheartedly agree. But I just don't know how to like manage it better because when it happened, it was so abrupt. It was very abrupt, for but sure. It was, but it, but it, it kind of it had to be because like that's the change we had to make. No, but the crazy thing is, it wasn't even that abrupt. We knew about it months before we actually hit here. We but knew it was it, like we a joke. It, we knew about it in like November 2019. Bro, we didn't have our first case here until like middle or end of February. That's what we know. That's what we know. Uh, no, nah, that that is the first case. That bitch was because that that would be in. something that they do actually disclose. Shit, you know what I mean? Like the fir- the very Shit. first case, they would actually disclose that. That I, bitch, uh, was, at least I think they would. That bitch was here, bro. That's like four months. That's like three, four months that we knew about it. But we like, didn't do a thing, <laughs> bro. Imagine in 2019, like telling somebody, like, "Yo, you can't go outside. Like, no, you can't go silly. to a bar. Like, that's a big change that's to make you." But that, this is what they got to do, man. They got to sit Americans down. This is what they were talking about. Uh, I know, yeah. And don't look up, too. They were talking about how, like, sometimes, like, things don't have to be so clever and so nice and so, like, fun to talk about. Like, sometimes you got to talk about things that you don't really want to talk about, but yeah. it is what it is. They had to sit everyone down and tell them, hey, listen, if y'all don't fucking chill out for, like, two weeks, everyone is going to have it. Yeah. And this is going to be a huge problem, and we're going to go through a, a whole thing. It's going to be a blah, 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 blah. I just think it was such a phase of, like, nobody knows what's going on. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, everybody was trying to figure out, like, what it was. And, of course, every business wanted to, like, underball it. To be oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, well, it's not, it's that not that bad. It's not that bad. Let's stay open. Yeah, yeah, stay open, <laughs> stay open, stay open. Until, like, the very last Come minute. here. And they're like, well, close. Quickly close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have closed? <laughs> and then everyone's closed. <laughs> and then everyone's back open again. <laughs> like Within two months. Yeah it's, yeah. it's ridiculous, man. But I feel like if we would have really, like, it's crazy to think, like, nobody wanted. Because I remember when the when the... The quarantine was going on. Nobody wanted to quarantine for those two, three weeks at and, all, including myself. I would leave, but I wouldn't go to people's houses. I would go and like smoke and like drive around. But I would see other cars on the road, and I'd be like, "These people are probably going somewhere." You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're they're probably going back and forth. Blah blah blah. If everyone would have just chilled in their goddamn house for like three weeks, I mean, I'm not saying it would have been perfect, but I'm saying it probably would have been a little better than it is now. But you can't force people to do stuff. I don't no, think so. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not author- This is not authoritarianism. Well, it's, it's America, fascism. and I want to go to my cousin's house. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm on go. <laughs> exactly. I don't. I don't think it would have ended because like people are still going to travel like afterwards. I, I think would have spread. Think about airports. It would have spread either way on one. Yeah. Like, there must have been some way where we could have got everybody in their house for like three weeks. Or nah, two weeks. it wouldn't have. Some way, right? No way, man. Bro, some people have world, essential jobs. Okay, like, well, to where they yeah. can't. They can't. Like stay home. Make it illegal to for you to not wear your mask or something. I don't fucking l- listen. Listen. That's why it goes back to it being tricky. Guys, listen. It's not my job to know how to figure this shit out. <laughs> Somebody somewhere is getting paid half a million dollars a year to figure this shit out. Figure it out. But even then, <laughs> my, how are but, they supposed to know? I don't know. Fucking figure it out. There's but, been other. There's been other viruses. There's been other diseases. Nah, not like there's, not like this. Though. There's been past work to work off of. I, I will say though, like I feel like they did that as a way to see. Okay, if we said everybody stay home. We'll see what like how it goes. People like, we'll didn't see, like, like it. People hated it. Well, shit. not not even that, but, but the numbers they didn't were still even going try up. hard enough. Yeah. They didn't really the num- try. They try. Did they? How you, it's difficult to do with some jobs. Like some people are like think about people who like treat our wastewater. Yeah, those motherfuckers have to go to work, bro, or else our water yeah. is gonna be filthy. We're gonna but die every if we drink night it. during that quarantine. I was going out smoking weed every night. Driving by cops. I guarantee. Driving through neighborhoods. Nobody stopped me. Nobody told me. And nobody asked me shit. Cause I was just chilling. Everybody driving. We're if someone's supposed everybody to, driving. Someone's to, supposed to arrest you and be like, "Hey, go home." Yeah, I would have preferred someone I'm, stop me and be like, "Hey, why are you out?" I yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, that would have been the how, same thing to do. How exhaustive would the resources be if they were to do that? Like, how are you supposed to send a cop for every single motherfucker <laughs> yeah, who's going out? I guess. Out? I, I guess. Mean, but believe it or not, there weren't on, that man. many people out. Believe it or not, I swear. No, I know there weren't. It wasn't. It wasn't like as it is now. It was really like it really was dead on the road. Bro, everybody that was driving was. Driving to fuck somebody. Yeah. Driving to fuck somebody, driving to do something bad, or driving uh, because work. I just say fucking because that's but what it I would probably had something to do with fucking. Because shit, it was dry in them streets. How weird must Tinder have been during COVID, right? You're like, oh, do I want to meet up with this motherfucker? They might have fucking COVID. <laughs> Dude, it was so weird. It I, was very I weird. Can Tinder imagine. gave everyone, I think, the option to uh, move themselves wherever they want, right? In the world or something like that. Really? I think so. I think for like two or three weeks, 
during the quarantine, they gave everyone the option to like plant themselves in whatever country. How the fuck would I want to do that? State. Well, you don't drop yourself off in Miami. How am, I supposed to, how am I supposed to FaceTime and fucking do anything? Yeah, I don't know. I want to meet up with a person, have sex with yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, that's for those people that are never going to meet these girls. You're having, you're having sex with the right <laughs> person, anyways. You're already taking a risk. Might as well yeah. take the risk of COVID. No, that's true. That's true. I'm yeah. I don't think what was even happening at that time. I don't even think I was on Tinder at that time. I was just like, bro. Can I be alive? I forgot what was <laughs> happening. Yeah. I, I, I was just trying to make sense of all this. I was scared to go to the store. <laughs> Bro, everyone, everyone, you know what's crazy too? That's another thing. They didn't capitalize on the fact that everyone was actually scared and concerned. You know, they, they took that and they fucking prolonged it for like three months. And then everyone was like, all right, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm just going to fucking go whatever and do whatever I want. I don't give a fuck anymore. And so everyone like, they, they got rid of that fear that like, fuck, maybe I should be careful and, like, I shouldn't get it and, like, I shouldn't give it to my family and blah, blah, blah. But because they took so long, now nobody wants to listen to that. And now if they try to, you know, like, uh, enforce some sort of mandate right now, people are going to be like, yeah, sure, <laughs> funny joke, and just fucking <laughs> do whatever they want anyways. <laughs> because they didn't care. People actually were fearful and actually were, like, cautious in the beginning. But that's because nobody knew what was happening. But now that, there's numbers, now that there's numbers behind everything, people are like, whoa. People are just dumb, man. One person in like 100 people doesn't get, gets the vac- gets, uh, gets COVID when they have the vaccine or whatever, and they're like, well, uh, he got it. So <laughs> it's like, are you stupid? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, but so did the other 99 people. They didn't get it. <laughs> I think it's dangerous to use anecdotal evidence. You can't use like yeah. evidence of like, my cousin who's vaccinated got it and like he spread it to him. You can't like. Oh, use, yeah, yeah. Anecdotal yeah. evidence is dangerous, in my opinion. Yeah. You have to use actual data, actual numbers, because those numbers don't lie. People lie, but numbers don't. It's true. You have to pay attention to it. If you really look at the numbers, man, you really look at the cases and like all these stories of like, I wish I would have got vaccinated and now like my grandpa's dead. Like, yeah. Now my blah blah's dead. Yeah. All those people, dude. All those people. All I'm saying is a hard no, I don't agree with. But if you want to question it, I'll have a to the vaccine? Yeah. I get it. Hey, I feel like you should be allowed to do whatever you want. If you want to take it, go ahead. If you don't want to take it, whatever. I'm going to take but it. But it's going to hit a point where, hey, some of y'all motherfuckers got to take it. That's what I'm saying, bro, because if, now we're where we are. Now we're like, now we're at fucking variance because the people and, that were like, I don't want to get it. They didn't get it. Yeah. Well, so, no, bro, you think, know what? You do need to get it. I think, lie. Think about it like this. All right, so the variant started in a place, a more so underdeveloped country, South Africa. If if anything, it's our fault, the a developed country's fault that we didn't get them, them enough, the vaccines. Yeah. You know, because our countries are so greedy, we didn't get them the vaccines when they needed it in time. Yeah. Because they would have been vaccinated, this whole thing wouldn't have started. Yeah. You know what I mean? A whole nother wave wouldn't have started in the first place. I saw a picture of someone in uh in South London and they London, took bro. a picture of they took a picture of their daily mail. Yeah. They had seven COVID tests in the mail in one day. I couldn't even dream of getting my hands on one. <laughs> I'd have to pay two hundred fifty dollars from a reseller to get my hands on a. It's crazy. Test. And, that's how it really is. And here. they had seven of them for free delivered to their door, just because their government was like, "Hey, just be cautious." How crazy is that? It's insane to think of. Like that's how things are in the U.S. I think we have one of the worst healthcare systems in the world. Are we really developed though? You no, know? we're we're one of the it's most developed really countries in the world. We're like, just, you know, we just have shitty systems around. Generally, around. but like, are we though? Uh, like systems and like all these processes. Are we by really developed? Though? I mean, like a first world country. We're a hundred percent. Yeah, we're we're a hundred percent. That's what it, it is. One of the worst. Like yeah, but I think like testing wise, I think we're doing okay. It's just y'all got we got a got at a bad time. We're just we're not a absolutely civ- we're, we're not a civilian friendly country. They don't give a fuck about the people. It's no, all about the corporations and money. Yeah. It's a business friendly country. But hey, cheers to the people. Cheers to the people. Cheers oh. to the people. They're what they will make things happen in this country, guys. I feel like, damn, I'm just on the, I'm caping for America, this whole, this whole podcast, huh? Go ahead. Before December, it was pretty easy to get a test. Oh, for sure. Before, like, it was very easy to get a test. Before, it was, like, yeah. Omicron started spreading rapidly, at-home tests were around, and it was easy to go get a COVID test, but, like, that, it goes back to, like, how showing Ill, how ill-prepared we are. Like, as soon as shit hits the fan, like, people start freaking out. We're not prepared to handle this shit. We should be prepared. I don't know. We had so long to prepare for this. Got guys, you gotta but get, I will, no, you gotta I was, get right down to it. It's a virus. You just go get vaccinated for it, but, or you go get to uh, one of the two. Like, it's it's a simple problem. I feel like it's an easy one, but we're I'll just say making in, it really hard. In November, right? I thought I had COVID like really bad, mm-hmm. and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get tested, and I got tested. I got tested twice in a week, and it came back negative. 
but I got my out. I got my results back in the hour, and if I wanted to make an appointment the same day, I could. So I was like, "This is actually pretty good." Mm-hmm. But it was around Christmas when we all went. Well, not Omar, but not when me. me and Avery wanted to get tested, yeah. I don't <laughs> believe in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> when me and Avery wanted to get tested, it was a little harder to find like uh, an appointment and shit like that. Definitely. So I'm like, I feel like it's even though it should be quicker, it should be easier. I feel like that's fine if a bunch of people want to get tested at the same time. That is a little wait. That like you have to wait a little bit. A little wait is fine, but what I'm talking about is like no at home tests are available and like waits that are like fucking four to five hours long for some people. Uh, that can't be good, man. That can't be right. That can't be right. I'm just so used to not having at at home tests, so I'm like You would think someone would come up with like a fucking like COVID book or like some fucking like a COVID book. Some social media like some like real platform where like you could see when COVID centers are open, when blah 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 blah, like all that stuff, like all the you real. Can, though. But I'm telling you, bro, I showed up to like a bunch of different ones. And they were all closed. And oh, then, okay, okay. This I was know this was yeah. a day prior to Christmas Eve, so it wasn't even Christmas Eve yet. Yeah. And I still couldn't find like any good because all the hours were all fucked up. All the phone numbers were all fucked up. I couldn't call any of them. No one would answer. But did you try? I did. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I did. I feel like you really you called me like swear. three places. You were like, ah, eh, fuck it. It I'm was not. it was three. It was three. But three is enough. <laughs> That's three, three, is many, enough. three is enough, bro. Man. Three is a, three. <laughs> three testing. But let me ask you a question. Where my friends just went the day before. But let me ask you a question. I gotta what, assume. That what those if you right. had it, yeah. right? And you're going to visit your girlfriend and stuff. You could be giving it to her. That's okay. So th- this is the only reason why. I didn't are you get too? Tested. Are you too lazy? You just don't give a fuck. Maybe you could have given no, no, it to her for th- all you know. This is the only reason why I didn't get it. For one, my family is out of town, so I couldn't have given it to them anyways. For two. She only lives with her mom, and her mom is never in town. Oh, so it's okay if you only give it to her and her yeah, mom. All I, right? only, I only give it to her and her mom. Well, she's with me. She was with me at the party that day. So, you know, I'm not really too worried about me giving it to her. I was worried about me giving it to her mom. Oh, my God. But her mom, uh, well, she, I mean, she's not really, like, in the room with us. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. And they're not, like, <laughs> not, 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 and you're talking about vaccines and science. Bro, you don't even fucking right. know. Look, okay, okay, okay. You're listen, picking into, you're cherry listen, picking the science. I am cherry picking. But listen, it's because I had no symptoms. I'm a young man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a young man. I had no symptoms. Oh, my and God. And I, I had this shit for days, right, prior to, like, I really was exposing <laughs> myself to people. I had this shit for days, and, like, I, I, you know, nobody had it. Nobody else had it. I had no symptoms. She had no symptoms. I mean, yeah, it is bro science. But I was like, chances are <laughs> I'm probably okay. And her mom, I don't see her mom a lot. I, <laughs> I, I, I see my family, like, at all, like, none, oh, you know, right God. now. <laughs> That's not the point, bro. The point, like, is, the point is you're spreading it, the, vaccinated the or unvaccinated. Is, you're spreading it. I'm vaccinated, so like it's a, it's like a fucking like fucking what like eight in a hundred chance that I get it. Eight in a hundred no, no, no. chance. Seven with, in a hundred no, no, chance. No, no, no. What's you're, the percentage that with, I get it? With, like o- seven with or Omicron, 6%? your vaccination status doesn't matter. You can get it just as easily. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pretend that doesn't exist. <laughs> well, it, it, but it does. <laughs> Let's pretend that it does. You pretend that doesn't exist. Do- you're you're. It does. It does exist, though. It doesn't no, matter. No, but I'm saying like vaccinated. Omicron. It doesn't matter. You're it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. You can still get it. it you yeah. get it as easily. What are we gonna do, guys? <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. The, the vaccine know. is to deal with the shit. It's you're not telling to prevent me it, it didn't help at all. Omicron it didn't help at all. With the no. past vaccinations. No. Not even a little. No. That can't be, bro. I mean, it's still weak. If anything, it's That's a very little hell. percentage because this this one spreads apparently much quicker than any other one. You know what it is. Mm. Joe Me Biden. and my family are good, bro. So go get your vaccination. Because <laughs> if we get it, we're good because we're vaccinated. So if you die, that's on you. <laughs> oh my god, that's on you, player. And at the end of the day, Jesus after I got my vaccination, you know, back in whenever the hell, back in fucking July or whatever the fuck it was, I, that's exactly what I said to myself. I was like, all my va- all my family was vaccinated before I am. Now yeah. I got vaccinated. I'm the last person, and I have it fully. So you know, if you get it, but you get it doesn't mean anything. That's anymore. your own fault, player. Because you need to get boosted. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to get boosted? Yeah, I'm going to get boosted. But Disgusting. I, I, I just haven't rushed just to kidding. it. I haven't yeah. rushed to it. Hell yeah, I'm going to get boosted. Bro, I don't give a fuck. If the, <laughs> if the government comes out with a if a, if a if the government comes out with a vaccine or a booster, player, give it to me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> there's no chance that the government's going to kill you like that. There's no, no, certainly. There's you're, no chance. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You're yeah. damned. You don't know. You're damned if you don't. You're damned if you don't. You do if you do, and you do if you do, because <laughs> no, no, I think everyone da- should be getting the vaccine. <laughs> there's no, there's no damned. There's no damned. I think you're damned either way, but I would rather be damned if I do with science. Because why would you be damned? 
Because you don't know what the long-term effects of the vaccine are going to be. What do you that really being think said, long-term that effects being, are? That being said, I'll still get the vaccine. Realistically, what do you think the long-term effects are? We don't are? know because they haven't been able to test it That's over true. a long period of time. But I'm still going but, to get it because I generally trust science more than I trust anecdotal evidence. But that's the problem. When you say damned if you do, damned if you don't, then people are like, oh, yeah, but like, what's going to happen later? But like, it's nothing. Nothing's going to happen later. But you don't know that. These companies put in so much money, so much research. They're but they could be motivated by other shit. They don't. But I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm not no, anti no, They're, they're, they're going to get money from it. But look, they're going to get money right now. But in four years, when everyone figures out that it was all bullshit, and everyone's fucking come up with like a, a fucking giant lawsuit, giant case lawsuit. Yeah. You think the company wants to deal with that? But of the course company, not. Of but course the company is trying to. But the company doesn't know what's going to happen in four years. They only they, they've only tested on people recently. They but don't they've know gone through so the many years and years of, of like evidence. Uh, there's been through so many years and years of like like vaccinations and like you know disease control and sickness control and blah blah blah. Sure, like I, they I have 100% tons agree with and tons that. of like past research. You know what I mean? Like. It's not just like they came up with all of this and like, all right, we came up with this it's not in five months. Yeah, like, There's science to it. I 100% Th- These agree. are like, you know, viruses in this family like have been researched for years and years and years and years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like a new thing. It's just like now everybody is dedicating themselves to this one thing. So, of course, they're going to come up with the answer pretty quickly. But I I, I I hear you. I hear you. You know? I, I, I just be questioning it. But it, I don't it's know. Just, every time I hear a non-vaccinated person's opinion it's never <laughs> it's never the smart it's ne- one it's never scientific yeah it's never it's never a logical one where they're like well yeah but i, I understand why like you would want to take it but blah, blah blah it's always like well but you know do you take everything they tell you to get and i'm like bro are you stupid do they take do you take everything you they tell you to take they they do, did those do the you same take pe- every shot they tell you to take those are the same people who don't get their kids measles shots yeah and like fucking you know what i mean like the diseases that have been gone for like 40 years yeah and why do you think they're gone Cause we all took vaccines for me, yeah. idiot. <laughs> Cause it's fucking it's a it's a giant herd immunization. Yeah. <laughs> fucking morons, bro. People don't know. People don't know. And I'm not saying I know, but I'm saying like at least I know a little. <laughs> These people don't exactly. even bother to like I- inform themselves even a little bit. I'm trying to think of the, uh uh I can't remember the fuck. Ah, it goes something else. <laughs> I'm trying to remember like <laughs> I'm bro, I've been for the past five minutes I've been trying to figure out like there was some lady on TV that was like, "Don't get your kids this shot because it gives them um, autism. autism." Yeah, that's what it was. None it's, of that um, shit's proven. It's the flu. The pretty, flu shot. I'm pretty sure it's the it flu. I'm pretty sure it's flu shot. That's what it was. Which it's, is it's those people. Which is yeah. Which they they you know like AB said it it was they they backed no. it up. They actually did the research. They actually did the research because this yeah. was this was years ago that this like uh this whole. That's a long about. running one. They they did years of research. It turns out it's bullshit. Yeah, there's no 100 percent link at all. Yeah, there's no <laughs> yeah. link. There's no there's yeah, no actual you, correlation. How do you even link that? Yeah, there's no way to even link the two to autism. <laughs> we don't even know how that happens yet. <laughs> how the hell are we gonna link it to fucking the flu shot? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like people would be like, they like search for a link sometimes and they, they 100%. If find you, one. Confirmation bias. If you go out seeking something, you're going to yeah. look for information that only is going to affirm it. You know what very, I mean? Very, very, very true. That's a big problem we have, I think, in today's day and you know, age. Like, Confirmation bias, yeah. Like, let's say if you're, you're looking up a movie that everybody hates, right? But you're like, yeah. look, but if you look up reviews, you could look up only positive reviews to that movie and you could find them. You could find a lot of other motherfuckers who like the movie. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny that you say that. The don't look up movie. Uh, all the reviews that I looked up, right? Because mm-hmm. I, I looked up reviews. Because I saw this movie. And, excuse me, the first 35 minutes has you real frustrated. Because, like, nobody is taking them seriously. Yeah. And you're frustrated for them, almost. Mm-hmm. I went to the reviews for this movie. I, I won't spoil any more of it. But, like, like, like AB said, there's a whole, like, uh, opposing opposing idea. Like, don't look up. And, and you know, like, basically, like, ignore the ignore the facts. Yeah. You look at the reviews of it. All the people that are in the bad reviews are exactly the type of people that you think they are. 100%. It's like, it's like they thought they were so smart in parentheses Democrats that blah 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 and like it's because because it's a it's a really like hard nod to climate change. Yeah, and like how if we don't realize fast enough, it's too late and we're all gonna be fucked. No matter what you think, no matter if you think you can leave to another planet, no matter what the hell, you're gonna get fucked no matter what. And this movie just kind of solidifies that sort of thing. Hundred percent. Yeah. And I agree with like a lot of the a lot of the reviews are just people like people a lot of the bad reviews are people trashing the movie for saying that oh it was heavy handed with the way it fucking yeah it I didn't said like it, the but political like, theme that they brought in <laughs> but like it honestly it didn't it didn't even say one side or the other it basically just said there's some humans who are gonna be like this and some yeah. who are not it didn't say like which is one very side, true one side I was gonna be like it didn't say specifically one side it just said like there's gonna be a bunch of fucking humans who don't believe that this shit's going to come 
because they're not going to trust science. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it basically said that. Which is so funny. It's the truth. It's the truth. Exactly. It's the truth. It's, just, it's the truth. It's exactly why. Well, because yeah, they never really bashed one or the other. They just kind of like, they showed one side and they were like, they're stupid. They showed the other side and they're like, they're also stupid. They're both fucking stupid. Yeah. But of course, one of them took it straight to the heart and was very mad about it. And uh, I think you know which one. It's the one that rhymes with rump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Trump side. It's the Republican side. <laughs> and all these people like took it straight to the heart, but they made fun of both sides. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I think there's people who are even further, like, uh, like, like even further to the right than Trump. Trump probably wouldn't even fucking align with some of these people, bro. You know what's funny? You know, he got that? he got vaccinated and he got boosted. Yeah, and bro. he would he was uh, he was being interviewed by someone, and it was like a public interview, and then the guy asked him, he's like, uh, Mr. President, were you uh, are you vaccinated? And he's like, yes. He's like, are you boosted? And he's like, yes, I am. And then people were, people were just booing, like, mm. woo. Oh no. And he, was, he was like, no, don't 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 do that. Don't do that. He was like, I was like, that's fucking funny to think about. My man was on the stage in the middle of Alabama saying that he got a vaccine and people he were booing him. He had a vaccine him. and a booster. Bro, and people were booing. You know booing why they're booing him? Because he went all his fucking whole thing just explaining that like this is bullshit. Don't do it. So all these people believe that shit. Because well, no, he, he never said don't do it. Kind of. No, no, he never said don't get vaccine. He wanted to push the vaccine. No, it's just, he, he, did, he did. He did push it. His in the follower, beginning. Yeah, he always no, pushed he it. Did it. No, he, no, he, he, always he didn't get vaccinated it. for the hottest while in the no, beginning. He, he always pushed it because he was the one who was like trying to develop it. You know what I mean? Mm. But like his followers are just stupid. They somehow think that like that part of the, their side, they somehow think that they don't want, that he doesn't advocate for it. But think about it. He's a rich man. He's not stupid. He has a bunch of smart people around him. He hires a bunch of smart ass fucking scientists and doctors. They tell him, listen, you're fucking 75 years old. Get you should shit. get vaccinated. It's a smart thing to do. You should get boosted. It's also a smart thing to do. So what no, do you think no. he's going to do? He's rich. He's going to listen. No, no, but he got it. But that's not what he was like. That's not what he was spewing out to his people. To his people, he was telling them. Basically, this is what he was saying. Basically, like, don't listen to them. Like, question what you want to question. Like, he, he was yeah, always, like, yeah, yeah. He would yeah. always basically, like, like pushing on the rhetoric that, like, hey, you shouldn't get it. Why, like, if you don't think you should get it, then why should you get it? Yeah, Omar, he, Omar's he, right. You he, know what I mean? Like, he, he, he wasn't, uh, you're right. He was vague. He wasn't necessarily saying, like, I'm not going to get it. But he was saying, like, if you don't think you should get it, don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he was vague with it. He didn't sit, come out and say, like, hey, you guys should get it. But he didn't come out and say you guys shouldn't get it. He yeah, no, no, vague. he didn't. He stayed in the middle. Nah, but, but Trump, Trump was really smart because, like, he kind of saw, like, where it was going. Where people are going to be like, okay, you should get vaccinated, like regardless, and it should be mandated and all that type of shit. Where he was like, if you want to get it, you can get it. Well, you know, it's you have your own right as a human. He being. was like, yeah. I'm gonna, he's like, oh, I'm fucking smart. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna uh, get this. Uh, I don't want to die. Yeah. Would you <laughs> dumb motherfuckers in Mississippi? <laughs> hey, fuck y'all. <laughs> y'all die. Yeah. Trump didn't get it, so why should I? Yeah. No, but all these people, they like Trump didn't really like advertise the fact that he got it. He wasn't uh, really that's like, true. you know yeah. what I mean? So like he was, he was kind of like, if you if you have to put him on one or the other, he was definitely on the opposing side. Yeah. Because he was more on the side of like question the science rather than like accept the science and like listen to what they're telling you. He was more on the other side, like, well, you know, why are they telling you that? Well, ask him why. And like, like all these people, are like, well, why yeah. are they telling me that? And so everyone's just fucking questioning. That motherfucker's it. smart. And bro. nobody's, you know what I mean? You but can't I'll, trap him. But it's funny because on his end, because he got that shit early. Yeah, he, remember he got the vaccine hella early. He got yeah. sh- and he got COVID early. He got he COVID did. real early. And he was like, you know what? This ain't no joke. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me go get vaccinated. Because he was no in that fucking. Joke. He was in that clinic for like a week and a half. For a minute. And you didn't see his ass for like seven days. And then he showed back up, and he was like, hey, you know. They're not lying. It's kind of serious, but <laughs> but it's still not that serious. So <laughs> no, but I was gonna say he was on a he That's was in funny. an interview with uh, this woman named Candace Owens, who is uh, oh oh I, I hate her. She's bro. a Fox News anchor uh, who I think she she does other stuff too. But she's a black woman who is like on the like super far Republican side, and of course a lot of people don't agree with her because. Nobody fucking agrees with that shit anyways, especially <laughs> not a black woman, because if you're a minority, why on earth would you be on that side? <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, same way you see Mexicans and all that shit. I, I hate seeing stuff like that, like Mexican people and all those people that are like on the far side. I'm of against China. immigration. I'm like, player, I'm he's Mexican. talking about you. You know that, right? He's talking about you right now. <laughs> he doesn't like you. <laughs> why are you agreeing with he's him? He's building a border wall to keep more of you out. Yeah. Build that wall. You know who that's about? <laughs> so... He's on the fucking, he's in an interview with this chick, and this chick keeps trying to, uh, like, appeal to him and keeps saying, like, you know, they shouldn't get vaccinated, right? Like, they should be questioning this vaccination, right? And in the whole interview, this was maybe, like, a week ago or a few days ago, this whole interview, he's like, well, no. He's like, well, actually, I think, you know, everyone should get the vaccine. Like, a lot of smart people came up with the vaccine and blah, blah, blah. And, like, kind of going against all of that shit. 
and like not going with anything she's talking about. And I'm like, bro, yeah, I mean, I'm glad now, finally, that you're like on the right side. But like earlier, you kind of fucked this whole thing up. You know what I mean? You put a really bad first step in a lot of people. And now we're dealing with a whole like dichotomy situation when initially you could have said this. And like I'm sure, like a ton of people would have agreed with. I wouldn't blame him for that. I would just blame a bunch of dumb motherfuckers for being dumb. I mean, people are just fucking dumb. I wouldn't exactly give it to blame him. Be like, it's his fault that a lot of people aren't vaccinated. It's their own fault for being dumbass. It's his fault that people are stupid and listen to him. (laughs) (laughs) That's what that's what it really is. In a a crazy way, that is exactly what it is. That people are too stupid, and it's your fucking fault because you're the person that they think is smart enough <laughs> yes. to listen to and you're not being smart. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? You're not actually smart, but that's you're well, the people, person they think is smart. People really idolized Donald Trump. They did. I don't know how you can look at that man and be like, yo, he said, he, I should listen to him. He that's, represents... That's an honest man. Yeah, that's he, an honest he, man right there. He's an honest man. He represents America. He's not a con man at all. In he's not a con man at all. world, dude? The guy was on a fucking... Exactly. You're fired. <laughs> you're, this guy was on a show called The Apprentice. Every dollar he's ever owned has been his. <laughs> He's never took a dollar from nobody else. It's a wild world we live in, man. This is bullshit. It's 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 big. It's a big crock of bullshit, you know. But, and it's crazy because we're the people that are in the middle that have an actual level head, you know, where we're listening to and both yet we sides. we have no power and we have no power and we're just having and to deal with we, all this. Nothing shit. Nothing we do matters. Our vote, I guess, it matters, but not really because electoral college kind of rules that all rules all that shit and out. Look who so, we yeah. vote for. Our demographic Joe does Biden. like our our vote doesn't really matter because. There's not enough of us for us to push it, you know? Exactly. Just Which us. is kind of sad, people. but I mean, it is what it is, man. Yeah. But it's also in the way those those people that make it more difficult for young people to vote and blah, blah, blah. For yeah. sure. So that, like, you have to vote in person, this and that. It's it, it's it's strange to think about. Especially, you know, I feel like the pandemic really, like, like instilled the fact that, like, you know, there are a lot of processes that are outdated. And we all need to, oh, start, yeah, we yeah, all need to sure. start questioning this shit. Yeah. And, like, I feel like the pandemic really pushed that. And now you're thinking about a bunch of things that may not even have to do with the pandemic. And you're like, why are we doing that? Like meetings. Like, you know, well, no, that does have to do with the pandemic, I guess. <laughs> but like meeting. Like now you can do, you know, do online Everything and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. That definitely has something to do with the pandemic. Though, definitely does. Yeah, it does. It does. But like there's a lot of things I'm sure that like, you know, people have been questioning now that the pandemic happened. But before that, we're never questioning because, you know, the pandemic never pushed them to think like, why, why, why question it? It's all good. It's been like vaccines. Years. It's like vaccines. <laughs> Get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it no, or or, or don't get it or don't get it, it hey whatever makes you happy or, or do your research your kids are going to be autistic if you do, do you <laughs> so you do what you want with that information i don't want your autistic kids trying to play with my kids it's crazy man it's crazy they shoot up your kids at a fucking elementary school we're like well i mean you know gun control is it really important <laughs> you know pe- everyone thought after the hit sandy hook they were like well for sure there'll be gun control for no, sure people- how people could that not happen? They just killed 25 kids with an automatic gun in their in an elementary school. Bro, people thought Sandy Hook was like a setup. <laughs> yeah. yeah people, that was a wild shit People thought to Sandy me. Hook was fake. Yeah. They yeah. were actors. Bro. Child how, actors. In, in what world? That was the crazy shit to me. There's, there's something wrong with this country, guys. <laughs> and if you think for a second China isn't going to overtake us in the next 20, the 15, 20 years, if you think for a second it's, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And we're all going to be under China's thumb. And that's going to be where the world ends. You better start, <laughs> you better start learning Mandarin. For you better real. start learning goddamn Mandarin. And World War Three is going to be in China. China's going to win. We're all going to live like that for 40 years. And then climate change is going to get us all. Mother, there's going to be no more actual wars. It's all going to be just economic war. Yeah. Because actual war, we're just all going to die. Boycotts and embargoes and shit. Yeah, it's all going to be that. Because actual war, we all have so many advanced weapons nowadays. We would all die. Yeah. So there's never going to be any more actual war. It's all yeah. going to be between developed countries. You know what I mean? For we're, sure. For sure there'll be developed countries going into like shitty countries, like developing countries like Afghanistan and doing shit. But like you're never going to see like China trying to invade the U.S. That's not going to happen in modern yeah. times, ever. Yeah. It's all going to be like economic and social shit. It's never going to be actual shit. And I'll say this about China. They're radical people at least are smart. <laughs> mm. Like they're people that like, they're all, all the motherfuckers over there are smart. They think they're shit all out. smarter than us. <laughs> people yeah. over here don't think shit out. No, we don't. You can tell by fucking traffic that we're they don't all, think shit out. We're all it's obese big, uh, and we're stupid over here. Stupid That's as fuck. Tell you right now. <laughs> we're all stupid. over there. They're lean and they're smart. It, it's they're a, leaner, it's a big, smart. Uh, it's a, it's an acting gig here, is what it is. You know? Yeah. You're in a position. You're just an actor. But you, you don't really know shit. You don't know shit to even like, to even finesse. In your profession. Oh, yeah. You just know enough that the people above you tell you. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I don't know. It's just stupid. Omar's hiccuping. <laughs> Omar's hiccuping like a bro. It's like those a, damn shots, like an dude. animal. Holy shit! <coughs> it it that, that took like fucking five or six burps <laughs> to get out. <laughs> but five yeah. or six little baby burps over yeah, there. W- what I'm saying though is over there, at least like the bad people are smart, and at least they like they formulated this plan and blah blah blah. Over here, we're just like we're a face. And yeah, we know we're a face, and like just appeal to that face as much as you can, and you'll get to where you need to get to. Yeah, and you don't really need to know shit at all. That's Ted Cruz. Exactly. I bet I bet he don't know five laws that apply to only Texas. There's a lot. There's a lot of people. In like, I bet he does. There's a lot of people in Congress that barely have just like GEDs and shit. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I was in the war though for eight years, so <laughs> where my daddy bought me out, and I didn't have to actually go overseas. Bro, it's, it's all. It's all relationships. Yeah. It's all relationships. That's all it is. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Uh, no, I understand. It's all bullshit. Can we get a goddamn thirty-five-year-old in that fucking office? Can we get a normal young adult in that office that will actually be alive within the next a young, years? A thirty-six-year-old young man. Thirty-six-year-old. Thirty-six a multicultural man. young man. A multi- I think. I think it'd be a great idea. One of us. It can't be me. I think he'd have to be half white. It has to be like a black Jewish guy or something yeah. like that. It has to be like to be president or yeah, like in general. To be president. Oh god. Because the white people wouldn't accept someone who's fully something else. They'd freak out just like they did with Obama. Even a though black he was half Jewish white. man. Yeah. If it's Drake. Yeah. Black Jewish. Is Imagine tough. Drake becomes our president. Hilarious. Nothing would ever happen. He's Canadian though. They like him, right? Oh, he can't. Imagine oh, he can't be president. a Mexican black guy. Isn't that insane? Now that's a rough one. That a Canadian cannot be president. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> too far away. You're too. You're too far away and too different. <laughs> yeah, you have to be American. I just remembered that. Yeah, well, it's yeah. way too cold up there. You to you're not be, like us. <laughs> he has to be born here. <laughs> you're not like us at all. He has to be born in. The he's, shit. A Cana- he's a Canadian. He's a Canadian terrorist. He's a he's Canadian coming <laughs> to take all the syrup and a ham. I don't care how nice <laughs> they make him look in those movies. I know he's a goddamn terrorist. Get him out. <laughs> Get, get him out right we now. Don't want him. <laughs> get him out right now. I'm not voting for him. No, no how. <laughs> Damn, that's oh, hilarious. Man. That's, that's, a good note. that's a good note to end on. Yeah. All right. I'd vote for Drake. I vote for like well, a squirrel over <laughs> voting for Joe Biden or Trump again. I'm voting for Drake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, I'm, voting for, I'm voting for Kanye West. <laughs> oh, God. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.